Hey, this is Michael Brent Collings. I'm the author of Grim World, The Witch in the Woods, and I'll be reading a page a day with my real, not at all paid actor kids. Say hi, real kids. Hi. <laughs> We're gonna be doing this a page a day until it goes viral. I reach 100 pages or I get tired, whichever comes first. So please don't forget to share, like, comment, all that stuff, and help us go viral for Grim World, The Witch in the Woods, which releases March 5th, 2024. Everyone moaned as they had the first 10,000 times he'd made the joke. And as always, he couldn't stop at only one pun. Through the rest of the day, the kids heard, Dot, can you help me move these cardboard containers? I'm feeling boxed in. Jake, do you know where we put the utensils? It'd just be knife to know where they are. Willow, I'm so happy you're here with me, doing what I'm doing. It's really moving. With each pun, they moaned or groaned or whined. Jake threatened to call Cotbot to take Dad away for child cruelty. Willow threatened to run away from home. Mom mimed locking Dad's lips and then putting the key in a shoe, and then she threw the shoe at him when he made another pun. They were all deliriously content, even happy, so they pretended to be upset, which is a thing that only humans are smart enough or insane enough to do. If they had known this was one of the last days they would share together, they might have acted differently. A complete, full, and total unpacking takes time. But Jake had done, Jake had done such a good job with the lists that everything was easy to find. And Willow had done such a good job with the boxing that once found, things were easy to take out and put away. The house had started looking like a home and felt a bit cozier every day. Only two things distracted from the near perfection of the weekend. The first was that, da that Jake started having panic attacks at the first, as the first day of school loomed. And the second was Dad. It wasn't just the punpocalypse moments, which Jake started referring to as punneria, and Mom told him sternly not to say even when Dad giggled and made rude noises. No. Dad was getting the blank look that meant he was working out some big science problem in his head, wandering in tight circles and muttering things like contravariant vectors in Minkowski space, or inverse of the Hermitian matrix, or I wonder what pizza would look like if human mouths had evolved upside down.